Alright my leathers, welcome back to Ratchet and Clank. So, last part we uh, did some stuff, did the research lab, um, not gadget lab rather, uh, we did some other stuff that I've forgotten even though it's only been about five minutes, and we've just come through Blackwater, we've gone to Quark's trailer, but we didn't have enough money to get in there, so now, we're going to do the hoverboard races. I am still getting thoroughly bothered by insects. It's just so many of them. <coughs> I can see three tiny little like stormflies just floating around. I think they're stormflies. They're annoying, whatever they are. I think I know what I actually get from this. Hmm. Oh, there's a gnat laying up my legs at the moment. Fun fact about gnats and mosquitoes and all that. It's only the women that uh, well, the women, only the females that they drink blood. Here's Quark trailer, so let's talk to him. You see how it works? You grease the hinges, the door opens. Captain Quark? What's that? It's Ratchet and Clank, Captain. You know, from the hub. Oh, yes, yes, I know who you are. You do? Yes, and thank the galaxy you found me. Huh? There's an awful plot being hatched to destroy our <laughs> planet. Ratchet, he knows. Great. Does that mean we can go hoverboarding now? My friends, we're all in grave danger. And I believe that together, we can put a stop to this madness. <laughs> He's one yep. of my favorite characters. You mean you want our help? Look, Ratchet, I've been keeping an eye on you. And I've never seen anyone with such raw talent. You are a true hero in the making. Really? You mean I could be famous? Oh, absolutely. Oh, here, take this. What makes one man toil in obscurity while another becomes a hero? Is it strength, compassion, determination, or just pure <coughs> blind luck? Wise men through the ages have struggled with that very question. But Captain Quark knows the secret. That's why he's been able to defeat more despots, rescue more damsels in distress, and save more civilizations than any <laughs> other hero in the galaxy. Now is your opportunity to see if you've got the stuff heroes are made of. This infobot contains coordinates to Quark's secret base. Can you quickly conquer Quark's killer cannonade of confounded contraption? <laughs> can you quickly quark? Can, can you quarkly quick? Oh, just make your way through the defenses to the center of the base. Prove yourself. Learn the secret and earn your place in galactic history. Consult your doctor before attempting any strenuous exercise. Not responsible for death or dismemberment. Your results may vary. That is some fucking ten out of ten voice acting right there. Meet me at. Uh, uh, meet me at my headquarters. Hey, Captain Ratchet, what do you think? We won't fail you, sir. We promise. Can you quickly cook? Yeah, that's just fucking... I wonder how many tries that took. In fact, he managed to do that so quickly. Actually impressive. Hola. Welcome to the Hovercon Intergalactic Hoverboard Competition. Damn. Captain Quirk's giving Jiggly. away a brand new Platinum Zoomerator to the winner of this competition. A Platinum Zoomerator? Perhaps that will be the proof of your accomplishments that Skid's agent requires. Wait, do you guys mean Skid McMarks? Yeah, Skid couldn't make it, so we're here to, you know, fill in for him. Guess we'll see about that. Yes, we will, because this is a bit of a pain in the ass. And... yeah. Uh, this is quite possibly the most annoying and also difficult part of the game. And this isn't even the last one. Oh. Yeah, you can earn some good money doing these races. Uh, okay, do 
stunts and shit. I wonder if this is slightly built on the, uh, the Spyro 3 skateboarding. Because obviously Spyro 3 was PS1. Okay, we're second. Actually controls a lot better than I remember. Maybe I just got better. Who knows? Okay, now where's the guy in first? In order to catch him, you've got to hit basically every single boost. And not do that. Beat me. Heck. Alright, let's try that again. First time's the charm. Pretty sure this was on the demo as well. Yeah, this is a absolute bastard to do. I think there's another one here after this. This one on Gadgetron headquarters later. Right, well, up first. Just gotta hang on to this lead. It's easier said than done. Yep. Yeah. Told you. That jump is such a fucker to do. When you're boosting, you have to do this in order to get the platinum sumo rate, I think. And you need that in order to progress, so you can't skip this. Captain Quark here. It is my distinct pleasure to introduce this year's Hovercon Intergalactic Champions. Let's give it up for newcomers. Ratchet and Clank. Uh. Hey, look, that's us. Today's winners will take home a brand new professional grade Model T15 Platinum Zoomerator. Manufactured by Gadgetron, this hoverboard drive delivers more lift, speed, and maneuverability than any other anti grab device on the market. Well, folks, that's all the time we have tonight. Remember to set your info bots to the Quark Classic channel for tonight's episode of Dogfight Over Death Canyon, starring yours truly. Thank you, and have a Quarktastic day. How many? Okay, so I've got nearly 3,000. Yeah, nah. <laughs> I was thinking maybe if I did that off camera, I could grind out enough to get a rhino. But nah. I think that there is a skill point for doing it a certain amount of time though. But with the platinum thingy, you can uh every time you hit an enemy or break a box, it builds up a turbo meter. But you can do tricks as well to build it up. And yeah, you can go super fast. Alright, so now I can go see Skid's agent. Here yeah, we got Quark's HQ. Uh, where are we going? Iridia. Uh, there's another gold bolt, wasn't there? down in the sand shock area but there's also one across the river as well. So 
Let's go have a look, see if I can get it. Yeah. Right, it's in there. Is there a way around? Yeah, yeah I think I need an explosive weapon to get through there. Bomb glove, dumbass. I don't know if that'll actually get me through it though. Never mind. <laughs> that was easy. Puzzle solved. Hell yeah. God, I'm starting to think having a coffee is a bad idea. <laughs> so hot drinks in hot weather are supposed to be good for you because it helps you regulate your body temperature. But it doesn't particularly feel great. <laughs> Although I am noticing me cooling down on account of the sweat out. I love this weapon. I love I just I love the ratchet clank weapons non-stop. They're just such clever designs. Oh, I could have just twin. Could have just taken the shortcut over there. I can't even get over there. Okay. Oot of boons. Not really. That's all of them here. Maybe, that maybe. Dip, dip this is this. Uh, oh, I can find out in the ship. I think that is all of them. Do you ever just fucking just feel itchy? Because you know that there's bugs around. That is exactly how I feel right now. Ah, there's one up there, I think. Fantastic! You got it! Great work, kid. So, are you gonna represent me? You bet, kid. And as a signing bonus, I got... Oh yeah, it gives me that thing. This. Cool helmet! That is a sonic summoner. It is used to attract sand mice. 
Right, then it's all yours. <laughs> well, I'm off to finalize the paperwork. I'll have the people oh. call your people. Do you have people? The Sonic Summoner allows you to interact with the mysterious and intelligent sand mice species. Despite their innocent appearance, sand mice oh, are very yeah. effective and aggressive hunters. Simply equip the Sonic Summoner when you are near a sand mouse house, and a mouse will emerge to greet you. If the mouse likes you, it may offer a sand bit of high-caliber tactical assistance. Yeah, that's basically all that does. Comes out and shoot stuff. Uh, shit. Okay, so I think the last gold bolt is up there and I can't get up there yet. Heck. No bother. Oof. God damn it. I felt the cold one. Right, so that's done. Quark's HQ. Two bolts. Got some Nothing great much. bargains for you today. Nothing. Uh, don't get away. Oh, I need more ammo. I should probably buy some. You get plenty for free. Jesus Christ. I think there's a skill point here for doing all of this without taking any damage. And shooting pterodactyls. I think there's another one. That's not a gun ratchet. Oh, there goes that skill point. without taking any damage. Get through the whole gauntlet. This is a pretty pretty short-ish level. off the list so I can go come back later. Oh boy, I am nearly dead. Right, what can we use instead? Uh, I don't know if this is going to work. Okay, yes it is. I don't know if it had the range. Oh, 
Uh, dealing with these things is going to be a bit of a pickle, though. I don't think they can actually get to him. Shit. shots. Starship Troopers, Starship Troopers rather. Sticks his head up in the trench, gets his head blown off. I'm doing my part. That's uh, another game I will be getting soon as well. Starship, Troop Starship Troopers Terran Command. Which is a Starship Troopers uh, RTS game. Came in the last month, and I'm up before. I've had my eye on it for a while. I love Starship Troopers. First one, anyway. Quality film. I think there is a gold bolt in there. Oh, I just nearly died. Nearly. Not quite. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. It's weird I can remember so many like fine details of games. You know, I can barely remember what I did yesterday. It's weird how that works. Shit myself a little bit there. Ah, oh, this area is a bit of a bastard. So I've got to avoid all of them while activating the switches. In a time limit. And you can't destroy them because they come back. So I know where two of them are. There's the third. I lived. Oh, that's cheating. Okay. I can't remember if I can destroy that or not. I think I can. I think there's a skill point on it. No, no, I'm thinking of a uh, robot quark. It's so dark, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not just the, uh, the capture showing up as dark, it's actually how the game is looking. Oh boy, here we go. So I'm pretty sure 
gold bolt is around here somewhere. <laughs> so now I've drained that, I can actually kill them. I think I should need to hang on to the wall. I think that's how you get the gold bar. Uh, can't remember. I remember there being some sort of puzzle like that. Where you take water from one spot and then you have to get through to a different one in order to um, do the puzzle. Oh, I need the box breaker. I need the box breaker so bad. I know there's stairs there. There it is. I knew it was here somewhere. <coughs> oh, I means I've got to go back up that long arms ladder again. Alright, there's all the gold bolts here. So now I ain't got to come back once I've done this. So slow. This is as quick as it can go. There we go. And then up and up and up. Yes, health. Fishies, yeah, there we go. I knew I needed to keep it at some point. <coughs> fish, kill the fish. <laughs> what the fuck was that noise? <laughs> oh, one of them's on its side for some reason. Weird. Shells just make me think there's going to be Rhinox hiding under them. We've got 10,000. Spicy. Oh, I think I'm going to poke a soon. Fuck yeah. Wilder. Not that, that one. Got a clever little puzzle. It's not really a puzzle, there's only two things you can interact with. Oh, it's still quite clever. There. Oh. Okay then. Pretty sure you can actually just jump across the wall. If you're quick enough, you can uh, completely avoid them. But I don't want to risk it. Yeah, definitely would have died. Really? 
It's gonna make me go back and drain it. into the ring of heroes and I will finally give you what you deserve. Ratchet, this is no time for you to become cautious. We have reached our goal. I don't know. There's something fishy going on here. Listen to your little metal friend, Ratchet. Your destiny is mere steps away. It's just something doesn't seem right. This is it. Quark is going to help us stop Cheb and Drek. Why, thank you, Clank. You've been most helpful. Get off of me, you idiot! <laughs> <laughs> I love it when a plan comes together! Right, face. What do you mean? What do you think he means, genius? He's not gonna help us, he's gonna kill us! <gasps> you catch on quick. He's a bad Although man. Although there is one problem with your hypothesis. I'm not going to kill you. You're not? No. He is. But why? <laughs> why? <laughs> it's really not why? that difficult to decipher. <laughs> I'm the official spokesman for Drek's new planet. I can't have you two getting in the way of my comeback. This isn't over, Quark. No. But it will be soon. <laughs> It's a schnackle beast. Uh, yeah, Hydra is placed on that. That will help. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, I've forgotten how to do this. No, I've got to get close. So different in this one compared to when you can strafe. The other games are much more fast paced. Oh dear, that was all of my ammo. 
That's cheating. Okay, right, I've got the, got the ammo back, that's important. But... Uh, what? I think it's all over. It is now. And dead. That actually kind of made me panic then when I started thinking. I wonder what that info bot is for. Maybe it can replace you. Meow. We're pinned down! We're pinned down! The ships are hammering our position from the air! That was a little too close! We need support! Now! <laughs> Actually, I need support! My entire battalion went AWOL and left me to fight this war on my own! If the enemy doesn't kill those guys, I will! I'm not gonna last much longer! Request an immediate assistance! Over and out! Those are direct ships destroying that planet. We must help that commando. Are you serious? That's it. I am out of here. Captain Quark is going to be sorry he messed with me. This is not about Captain Quark anymore. There are innocent lives being lost. Ship. Yeah? Well, I'm done with this stupid hero stuff. I got my own agenda now. Ratchet, this is not like you. What do you know about me? You've spent this whole time looking for Quark. You don't know anything about me. I know that you will do the right thing. Well, right now, the thing I want to do is find Quark. How do you start this stupid thing? Have you forgotten? You need a robotic ignition system. I will start the ship if you agree to help that commando. So, blackmail is it? Fine. Just shut up and start the ship. And away we go. Elsewhere, World Supreme Executive Chairman Drex Flexion. Back so soon? Oh, you're talking to me. I'm not in the habit of talking to myself, you buffoon. Did you get rid of them? Yes. No. Well, I, I had this plan, and I thought... You thought? You thought? <laughs> I do the thinking around here, you slug brain idiot. I simply need you to eliminate those two nuisances before they can cause any real trouble. But I wanted to... Do you still want to be the... Highly paid spokesman for my planet? Yeah. Then the next time I send you to do a job, I want results! Now get out of my sight! Yeah. He's in the shit. So yeah, we've got no ship now. Goes right fast, it does. Oh god, I'm so sweaty. My arse is wet. I have swamp arse. It's fucking disgusting. Add attention, you deserting maggots! The next time hey. you soldiers try to go AWOL, I'll shoot you myself! Look, I just wanna zip it, worm! You see those bombers? If you don't get to the turrets and knock those ships out of the sky, this whole planet's gonna be rubble! Meet me at the city entrance! He needs our help. Yeah? Why don't you go help him? Into another trap. Well, go on. Go fight some evil. <laughs> At least I'm not a coward. <sighs> Whatever. As soon as I find Quark, I'm selling you for scrap. Bitchy. Bitchy, bitchy, bitchy. Oh no, these things. Oh, I fucking hate these enemies. It's okay. I'll just suck them. Yeah, Hi there, boy. boy. Devastate our iron age. 500 more. There's a reason it's called the Devastator. It can do some disgusting damage. There's times like this, I really miss the box breaker. Because when you've got it, you can literally just anywhere. Oh, you sneaky motherfucker. Anywhere on a map, you can literally just do that, and it just destroys so much shit, and you just get the same map I can't remember when I get it, though. 
10,000. There you go. Devastate tool. Ah, I get the next boot from here. Sweet. Hi there, fuzzball. Yeah, baby. Big boom. It's literally just the bazooka. You can use your grind boots here. Sure just jump onto the rail to activate them. I think you can get a skill point here if you do this without taking damage. If. Oh, that lasted long. I was actually trying to shoot it. I think you can hit them with your wrench, but the timing is very finicky. Especially that jump, Jesus Christ. I think I actually need to shoot switches at some point. Maybe three bolts. Concentrating so hard. I think Pokotaro is the next planet. I think. Anyone that's not. Anyone that's watching this has never played this before. And here's Pokotaro. They're probably like, what the fuck? It's another planet. Halt. You'll know you? when you see it. What are you doing? We are on a mission to save the galaxy. Speak for yourself and put your hands down. You look ridiculous. Actually, I don't care who you are. I've got to get the heck out of here. I joined the army to get money to go to college. I never knew I'd end up in a war. Go figure. This is a noble cause, sir. Noble my hiney. I just want to get home to my family. Here, I pulled this off a busted robot. Give me some bolts for a bus fare and it's yours. Two grand? Oh, you motherfucker. Just fucking spent all my money on a rocket launcher. Wobbly. I remember. I'm a smiling. God, these things are annoying. They can mess you up. Alright, I can't remember if I can actually jump there or if I have to wall jump to it. No, I've got wall jump to it. Good. If there was actually anything up on the other roof, the one I was just on. Uh, I think it literally just lets you destroy the bot spawner. Plus, I didn't even need to do that because I can just climb here. Two fucking grand for an info. Rather. Slam that in. Uh, hang on. I don't think this one is actually used for anything. One of them is bait. Well done, 
madre. So this is a super secret one. That's why this is such a hard one. There we go. A super secret one just has a shitload of bolts in it. This might actually give me enough. Yep, there we go. Alright, let's go get that before I forget. Teleporter, which is by the way one of the most iconic models in the Ratchet and Clank games. Thanks a bunch. Good luck saving the galaxy or whatever. Greetings, Supreme Executive Chairman oh, yes. Greg. As you can see, we're about to test our newest automated pilot's helmet. This helmet allows pilots to control our latest high tech fighters using only their thoughts. Please enjoy the demonstration. <laughs> we still have a, a few minor adjustments to make. Oh, if they ever get the kinks worked out of that thing, I have got to get me one of those. If they are working for Chairman Drek, they may know where he is. Is that all you can think about? Drek this and Drek that? I got my own problems. If you cannot see the importance of this situation, you do have problems. Oh, yeah? my blood. Well, if you're so smart, how come you fell for Quark's stupid trick? Ah, forget it. We both need to get to this planet, and that's all that matters. But you'll notice on that helmet, it just so happens to be two massive ear holes in it. Almost as if it was actually modelled for a Lombax, which, by the way, is Ratchet's species. The Lombax race. Bah. Rip, sneaky boy. I think. Sand mouse here somewhere. Somewhere. I can't remember where. Uh, oh yeah, I've got to go down there to do it. Oh, I forgot about these guys. That area was making look like these plants. Which is pretty clever. Got him without even looking. I think the next gold bolt is around that waterfall somewhere. Somewhere. Oh, just see a flash of lightning outside. Let me just. Pressure in my fucking nose is going to go. Oh, wait. Sneaky. Come on. Whoa! I can't do that, that's illegal. Cross the bridge, little bastard. That's not allowed. Well, I think it is already cooling down. I've got a very pleasant breeze coming through on my legs. Just 
should blow that thing again. Slip an arrow so I can hear it. I love a lightning storm. Thunderstorm rather. That's the fucking thunder. No lightning, no thunder. Rumble more than anything, it's not that. Shit. <laughs> I think I should get a skill point for killing those of those guys. I think they actually track two enemies on their own. Like you don't really need to aim. Yeah. sit comfortably on my chair. Here we go. First try. I think there's one more here. I don't know. Now I've got to get back without dying. Easier said than done. Especially when the frame rate dips like that, just when I'm about to make an important jump. Go for ledge grabs. Alright, alright, alright. Um. You bastard. How many missiles and I all missed? Ah, yes, I should get something very important here. Um. What the fuck? I might be in a spot of bother here. I have no ammo. <laughs> um. No, they can. They were really having trouble with it then. Get him! Get him before he gets me! Gosh, nearly ran straight into him. I don't care if he's offline and then online. I don't know who it is. I don't care. There's probably someone that added me for a uh, trophy hunting. I do like that. 
I love a bit of trophy hunting, I do. God, I said, oh, I desperately need health. Short of nuclear weaponry. Hmm. No, never mind. <laughs> well, you tried. See ya. Not so fast, soldier. You're going into that compound even if I have to throw you. Aha! That ventilation shaft leads to the turret platform. Ah. Uh. Soldier, find a way to use that shaft to infiltrate the compound undetected. Hmm. You've shown bravery by making it this far, soldier. And for that, I reward you. I intercepted this communique that you might find useful. Take it. Yeah, I I'm think that's actually where I need to go because I can't actually go through that dot yet. Hello once again, fellow blog. I hope this message finds you well. As many of you know, our home planet is no longer habitable. We've abandoned our factories, our laboratories, and our happy lives because of the encroaching pollution, leaving much behind. Fortunately, the nearby planets will supply us with all we need to create our new home, which is nearing completion. Once our scientists locate the ideal orbit, our new <laughs> world will be perfect. So reserve your space now. Prime locations are filling up fast. I'm working Good. Amazon. Now do you understand why we must stop him? He won't rest until he has destroyed every planet in the galaxy. Mm. Yeah? Well, I got bigger fish to fry. Bigger in the galaxy? Bigger in the galaxy. Well, different fish anyway. Look, didn't that commando guy say we could get into that compound? Yes, by using the ventilation shaft. But we will need something special to walk on that. Fine, let's get going then. We'll come back later. Yarp, we have to. You will need a pair of Gadgetron Magna Boots to right, traverse the ventilation it. shaft. Unfortunately, our scanners do not detect any Magna Boots on this planet. Return to ship. Yes, I can't actually get in there yet. I need the Magni Boots. Which is something that absolutely blew my fucking mind as a kid. I say kid, I think I was... I mean, I was still a kid, but... I must have been like 11 when I played this first. Alright, let's have a quick look for our list, shall we? Oh, it doesn't actually say. Alright then, I was going to just have a look at how many, um, uh, thingies. Gold bolts. Alright, so, Kogor, that's where I get the Magna Boots, I think. Blog Depot. That's where I get the pilot's helmet. So I might go there next, methinks. No, I'm going to go there first, so I can get the Grav Boots. Magna Boots. And on that note, I'm going to end this part here, so I can go and have a saucy break. So yeah, I'm having the time of my life right now. I've got a nice thunderstorm outside, uh, and I'm playing a game I adore. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you have enjoyed, feel free to subscribe to the channel. It's free, it doesn't cost you anything, and you'll get notified whenever I upload anything. And it's going to be a lot more ratchet and clank coming. So, thank you so much for watching. Mind how you go. <laughs>